Good morning from Um Hamid at the edge of the desert. We are just leaving. Salam. We are just leaving our Airbnb place with Aziz, which was fantastic. We're trying to get to Tata. We really have no idea uh, what's going to happen. Hello. So. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Salam. Salam de her. We're fluent in Arabic if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Somebody else to take us to Tata. Uh, what are we thinking? I don't know. I mean, it's still early in the morning. So our driver has offered to take us to Tata for two hundred dollars, the equivalent of. So we're not doing that. Lovely man. Um, he's taking us to a shop, and he thinks he's going to be able to find us a cheaper ride. I don't really understand what's happening. I partially understand what's happening. The guy who runs the shop is going to Punta Gorda. He's not walking with us. It's a different guy. Take us there with his friend in their taxi for 50 dirham each. Now we're waiting in another shop. The guys at the taxi rank want us want to charge us 800, which we're not going to do. If we well, I think it's because this guy can't be seen walking with us. One of the guys from the taxi rank ran up to him and was quite a, whispering and berating him, I think. Because it's taboo, because he's taking business from these taxi guys. So he told them that we're coming to see his shop. I'm not really sure. And then we're going to get in the taxi for a reasonable price. Well, we might end up buried in the desert, who knows? Okay, so it all makes sense now. So, this man we've met is a merchant and he's going to Fumza Good because there's a rally car race there. So he's gonna stay for two nights and sell his goods. And we're just passengers along the way. Bill's just buying some oranges and we have almost instantly procured a ride to Tata. We've made it to Tata. We decided to call it a day. Um, stop before our luck runs out. Where do we just come from? Where do we just come from? Mm Good morning from Tata. Hey, we are attempting to get to Tefrout for the almond festival. How do you feel about Tata, Beth? We didn't stay in the nicest hotel. It's safe to say that Beth is happy to say ta-ta to ta-ta. <laughs> Day, lots of action here. So we're at the Grand Taxi Stand. They're telling us that uh, they'll take us, but it will be 500 dirham, which is way too much money. We've been here about 45 minutes. I went to the Sook and got some food. We are still yet to procure a ride. I've started asking trucks and drivers. I asked the tour group behind us. They are going there and they have extra seats, but he said they didn't have insurance, which I think means it might just make his tour group uncomfortable to pick up a couple of randos. I get it. <laughs> so. We're going to attempt to hitchhike. Nope. So it's 11.30. Uh-huh. How long do you want to wait? A couple of hours? Sure. So we waited for about maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Uh, and these two lovely French people picked us up. So we're away. Beth then. The good thing about hitchhiking with other tourists is people actually want to stop and take photos. <laughs> I'll text our guy from our Airbnb and let him know we're here and he will come and pick up the only tourists waiting at the side of his village. More of an afternoon uh, evening thing. The people here selling um, obviously almonds and almonds oils and lots of cosmetics. There's these really awesome shoes here that I think are quite traditional. They're very red and colorful. 
Corners are part of a uh, microfinancing. That's where I'm going to buy myself some argan oil. <laughs> you gonna do it again? No, it doesn't shoot straight. It's finally starting. We have our two distinct dancing sections women on this side, men on this side. <laughs> So this morning after breakfast, we've taught Ashlav here a little card trick uh, that he's going to do on Joel. A Kelko card. Which card? Say that. Okay, return Joel. I'm actually doing this card trick on you. <laughs> wow! Amazing! This way we're going. So we're off and our guide here is uh, on school. his way to school. So we're going to take the same buses. Also, cutest little backpack I've ever seen. <laughs> confusion with the bus. Um, his son got on. Yeah, it's definitely going on the wrong direction of Tough Route, but maybe it was doing a loop. The little boy seemed a bit confused. To be fair, he was seven, so we don't even have to get on that bus. We can hitchhike again. <laughs> well, that was lucky. Well, thank you very much for the ride. <laughs> We're going to uh, mail a postcard to our little brother, Navir, back in well. Okay, and you've got the postcard. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Joel, look at this. Would you like it if I took some of that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know if that's the before or after. rocks here, one over there. Joel just went pee behind it. A Dutch artist came here in 1984, decided to paint these rocks, and the locals give them a little touch-up every year. I think they're a little ugly. We read something about a blog of, about these, and people were complaining about their graffiti on them, but I'm not sure what makes that graffiti, and the fact that this guy just rocked up here and painted these rocks not graffiti. My brother would say that this is the art world for you. <laughs> To be a lot of swearing graffitied around the place. In English. In English. Some angry young teens. Just pulled off the road here for an exciting uh, moment. Our first almond blossoms of the almond festival, which seems to be lacking in almonds. Here they are. How do they smell, Jolly? Very good. Like, like almonds. Really? No. My eagle eye for gluten that I can eat now has spotted these donuts. Um, the man making them in us, not to be filmed, is not going to be in this. Uh, tray show, n'est-ce pas? And uh, in some hot it goes. Cat. Allez, la piscine. With Ten sugar? Years. <laughs> Ten years, yes. Oh my god. How am I ever going to give up gluten again? I've done some calculations and this donut's that good that I don't think we need to sleep anywhere or be transported anywhere. And our budget's about 500 dirham a day and these cost one dirham. So at this rate, I can have 250 and we're still on the budget.
them in the family of Lavender and his parents, whom are still alive. We met his mother on the way in. Um, put this in hot oil and they rub it on their joints and it helps with arthritis. <laughs> that we very carefully drove to get up here to this village, our starting point. Filling up our water bottle, bottle here. How's it look? This is terrible footage, I just cut your head off. <laughs> surrounding villages get together at the top here. Rabat, which is the capital of Morocco, doesn't really have a lot of influence over these mountainous regions. So a little place where people get together at a very high point where it's safe to discuss village matters. Yes. Yes. Uh, very, very good. Very, well very good. done. <laughs> bon guide. <laughs> Just learned from our cheeky little guide here that this is the water bank in here. And <laughs> one and a half meters deep and they built the roof on here the snow from evaporating um, and they come up here with bottles and they carry it down to the village and they put chlorine in there to make it drinkable they carry the water we've just walked for about four hours from the village to get up here so uh, they must be a little bit faster than us <laughs> Guide has very kindly invited us in for some tea after our hike today, which I think uh, we could all use. <laughs> Safe to say we're all uh, tre fatty gay. <laughs> Translation shattered, yes. <laughs> so we've got some emilou, yeah. which is our favorite the <laughs> peanut butter, honey, and argan, <laughs> and le mel, confiture, no. confiture, some jam, which will, I'm sure is fantastic as well. <laughs> also, check out this view. Pretty stunning. All right, hey everybody. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. And thanks to everybody who shared our previous video about the desert. It really helped increase the reach. And that is the best way our channel grows. So if you love this video, make sure that you share it as well. If you want to stay with uh, Muhammad Amgar and his endearing family in, uh, in the village just outside Tafrao, you'll be able to find all that information in the links below. He can also hook you up with the mountain guide Beloid who took us to the top of Jebel Palest, who was awesome, and uh, the bike rental place where we went out to the painted rocks if you really want to see them. Okay, well that's it from us. Um, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot.